So hi, my name is Kujo. So primarily I make music and I just kind of wanted to hop in front of here and talk about how the, my journey with making music kind of started. So ever since I was young, I think music has been a big part of my life. The reason I say that is my dad is in a band and he still is in the same band, but he's been in that band since I was born, since I was a little kid. And my dad has always been into rock, I would say. First he started with the drums and then he played guitar, and he still plays guitar. And when I was a kid, of course my dad exposed me to a lot of rock music. He exposed me to Iron Maiden, he exposed me to Alter Bridge and Black Sabbath and Slipknot, a bunch of really good rock bands. I could probably go on and on. He listens to a lot of Mark Tremonti and Alter Bridge and more alternative rock right now. But when I was first a kid, that's mainly what I listen to and still uh, like clear up until my teens. I still listen to rock, but in my teens I listened to almost purely just rock music. But I loved music ever since I was a kid, loved rock music. I wanted to be a drummer or a guitarist when I was a kid and uh, clearly that is not the route that I have taken if you keep up with my music. <laughs> but around the time when I was a teenager, things started to change kind of rapidly in my life and I think I'd begin to take interest in like Monster Cat and more electronical stuff because I was on the computer and watching a lot more YouTube and was just on the internet a lot more in general. I think when most people are a teenager, they go through a phase where you become somewhat more self-conscious and your identity kind of shatters, I guess, or you're trying to look for your own identity rather than identifying with the one that has been placed on you from being a kid. At least that was my experience. So I started listening to like Dead Mouse and Skrillex when I when I was a teenager. So I <laughs> was listening to dubstep and wearing like Hot Topic and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, w I had an edge lord phase. But from when I was a teenager, I think that's really when I started to want to make music or have a desire to and from listening to monster cat and listening to more electronical like dance type stuff i moved on to soundcloud to try to find more different sounding things because i think most of the time i would find something on soundcloud when i first started and be like this is amazing but you can't find it anywhere except like on youtube or on soundcloud and there was like a phase back when in like 2014 and 2013 2015 and honestly between 2013 and 2016 was like a big golden era of music for soundcloud and i mean we got all sorts of different kinds of music we began getting like a lot of music like trap we got xxx temptation and just a lot of different sounding music that i don't think we would have had if we didn't have soundcloud but when i was using soundcloud around that time i was just purely listening to like trap beats and more like ambient trap type stuff and it made me really want to start producing those kind of beats from then on i'd taken an interest in producing beats and didn't really want to play live drums or play the guitar i had an interest in learning music production for that kind of stuff and boom here we are you have your pal kujo Dude, just fly. <laughs> but I mean, I had a big, m this freaking fly. But for a long time, I had like a big mental block when it came to producing because I had told myself like, you suck right now, so you're never going to be good, I guess. Or like, it, it would kill my motivation because it didn't sound like the stuff I was listening to on SoundCloud. And then I learned more about philosophy and I learned more about life itself and how to get better at things and it was like an acceptance of you know i'm just gonna make shitty beats but i enjoy making shitty beats anyway and i think that reason enough should be why i pursue trying to make music like if i enjoy making the thing and it sounds like shit and people think it sounds like shit who really cares other than me because i'm having fun doing it but i think that mindset is really what led me to actually becoming a lot better of a producer to where now i feel comfortable in producing similar tracks to what i'd listen to and experimenting and doing just a bunch of different kinds of stuff but i didn't really start actually making beats until i was like 18 19 like, like i barely turned 19 when i started producing and i'd had an interest since i was like 16 because that's when i was listening to trap beats through high school. It's also been really interesting to see my taste kind of evolve because when I was young and only listening to rock, I would 
harshly reject every other genre of music like hip hop or electronic or jazz even. I, I don't even know how I could reject that mentally back then, but I think it was because I looked up to my dad a lot and was like, yeah, this is the only good music genre because my dad kind of was that way. He only saw rock as like the music genre when current day me now, I, I love and respect every genre of music and try to expose myself to different ones that I haven't heard yet. And I honestly think that's a reason that has led me to be actually a decent, a good producer because in forcing yourself to listen to different genres of music, you kind of train your ear to catch on to what things you don't like and what things you do like. And then as you do that, the things that you like expand to the point where I can listen to full rock albums and then a jazz album and maybe some like weird hyper pop type stuff. And I love all of those different genres of music to where now I think having an open mind is what has really led me to actually being a musician. And my journey wasn't really like straightforward. Like I loved music since I was a kid and been playing an instrument since I was a kid and then went straight into producing and then like it just kept evolving stepwardly up. I think it like it was more like wavy. Like I would be trying to learn to play guitar and then didn't keep up with the habit, and then would regress into not knowing how to play, and then I still don't know how to produce. But I think if you look at the overall arching span of time, and I think most people's growth is like this, where you start kind of like waving, but progressively the waving kind of like increases. And my journey was definitely like that. Like if I hadn't listened to those trap beats on SoundCloud when I was in high school and had thought, you know, I want to make this kind of stuff and not held that thought, then I would have never done it. But there would be times where I would try to sit down and like figure out how to use a DAW or how to produce hip hop or make music that I would not know what to do, throw my hands up in the air and be like, I, I suck and then not ever touch it when I just had to sit there and suck, but stick with it. But yeah, I think current me, like I hit 21 and 22, I had some stuff go on in my life where I had fallen out with some friends and then realized that I had stagnated a lot a, as a person, but I was learning how to make hip hop. I was learning how to use a DAW and, but I was growing like extremely slow with the DAW and music making stuff because I was dispersing my energy too much to where I couldn't effectively learn things. But as I was, going through basically reclaiming more of my time and putting myself more into like my artistic bubble I guess you could say. I was listening to a lot more hip-hop and rap and because I love trap it was just like listening to people you know spit bars over instrumentals that I had already been listening to or like already liked type stuff and I'd fallen in love with the storytelling of hip-hop and rap that I decided that I also wanted to do the same thing over beats that I'd made and yeah, it's just led to who I am. But in a backwards way, it led me full circle because I loved rock for the sound of rock when I was a kid. And then now I bounce back and forth between hip hop records and rock records a lot because the storytelling in rock records and like punk are doing the exact same thing that hip hop records do. So I think in a way it might lead me full circle to actually producing like rock music once I get a more stable feeling on producing hip-hop which i think is really funny because kid me would have been like what he's making rock music when i like had to go through this whole finding my own voice and identity with music and if i would have not gone through this then i don't think i would have made music at all even with rock but I see the potential for it happening now because i understand like the genres and love all genres Compared to when I was a kid, I was very close-minded and just like rock because it sounded cool and my dad likes it. As my expansion of my own perspective has widened, so has my taste in music. And same with making it. I think there are less rules that I cling to and I keep a wider perspective when I try to go and make something. Which I would like to eventually lead into rock, like I said, and get a handle on learning to use live drums and guitars and producing in a doll. If Kid Me would have saw that I was listening to Lil Wayne or someone like West Side Gun, Little Kid Me would have been like, what the hell is wrong with adult me? <laughs> but yeah, it's, they've made some of my favorite records and I don't know, that's kind of just a base overview with uh, 
my journey with music is just a lot, a lot of listening to music. And if you don't make music and you're thinking about doing it, you're going to fucking suck at first. At least I did. Maybe you're a god deity at it at first, but I was not. I sucked ass, and I wish I had my very first beat because it was just like this shitty bass line and kick drum that looped over four bars, and it did not sound good. It was like the kick and the 808 were like, out of tune even and everything and yeah it was it was bad and that's okay and you have to tell yourself that it's okay because eventually you'll get to a point where you're producing stuff that you would have listened to on soundcloud or even on like a distributor or a publisher it's not really about the end product of making the music not the end i mean it's cool to have an end product of music that you can listen to but I, for me it's about the feeling i get when i make a musical idea that works and I can continue off of that. That has led me to the point of where I am. And I just didn't touch music at all for like a long time. But over the years of listening to different kinds of music and trying to expand my perspective, I think is what actually led me to be able to produce or make music. So yeah, just one step at a time. I've learned little things here and there. Um, if you don't make music, you definitely should uh, do it. And if you do make music, hopefully my story kind of sound similar to yours um i'd like to hear about it in the comments or something like that thank you for taking the time to listen to this video obviously there's much more nuance to how i began to make stuff and like listening to stuff i mean obviously it's over the span of 24 years of like listening to different records and listening to all different kinds of stuff and understanding the philosophy of music and learning about it over time has led me to making the stuff that I make. I mean, I would love to hear about other people's processes too and what's led them to create in the way that they create. I, like I said, I would go into specifics, but I don't want to sit here and record like a 40 minute to an hour long video talking about it. Uh, I just wanted to hop and kind of give just a little overarching thing of my journey with making music so hopefully it encourages you to start if you have an interest in it because i think the world needs more of it there's never too much of it i feel like needs more good stuff too a lot of people are so talented and they don't even realize how talented they are and they could make a whole career off of it that i personally even know that don't choose to that choose not to so anyway thank you for taking the time to watch this like subscribe smash <clears throat> Smash comment at yeah. <laughs> I still haven't figured out like the whole plug thing. It's been years, bro. What's wrong with me? Uh, I'm gonna go work on some things. Uh, it's I'm recording this on Halloween, and I'm also gonna record something else on Halloween. So hopefully, I decide to upload that. It'll be really funny. I'll put like an annotation somewhere if I did it. But yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I love you, and goodbye now. Mm -hmm.